Hey everyone, Mango7 will hear how we doing today. Uh, it is actually a fun new game time. Uh, this is Lionheart Dark Moon. I've never played it before. I don't really know what it's about other than it's similar to games I like. And the reason why we're doing this one is because one of my friends uh, is actually working at the company, um, just got hired there, and he told, told me he was working on mobile games. And I just thought it was kind of, I, it would be rude of me considering my specialty uh, for me not to try this game out considering... Um, it just came out about two weeks ago, I think. Uh, it's available on the App Store and I think Google Play. Not entirely sure, um, but it's on the little banner at the top there. Uh, this is not, um, as a disclaimer, this is not a paid advertisement or anything like that. Um, not that anybody would pay a small channel like this. Um, so I will be giving my honest opinion. Um, not that I wouldn't anyway. Uh, but if I don't like it, I'm going to say so. And I'm sorry, but we're going to give it a shot. So uh, let's get into it. I, I haven't even loaded it up yet, so... Here we go. No. Don't need any notifications. Setting up a few things, this won't take long. Uh, so first thing I notice is it's very similar in graphics to basically um, everything, but I really do like it. It's got a mix of the cutesy and the not so cutesy. Like that little pinkish purple thing up there. There's a magical place. A doorway of sorts. We're going to be watching the story the too. The spirits of the world can be sensed, and with the right key, summoned. To keep it safe, an order known as the Vault Keepers was founded, and a walled city built around it. For a thousand years, the order kept watch Ooh. until one night during a lunar eclipse. Something evil came knocking. And in those moments, the last Vault Keeper had only one thought. Protect the Vault. Creepy. So this is a, a gacha game, obviously. Coming to fight an old man, nice. Um, and this will be kind of like a let's play. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Hopefully you guys can still hear. I'm told um, one of my most important things I was uh, asking about was whether or not it was um, autoable, and apparently it is, so. The graphics are awesome. I'm really impressed with the graphics first. Even uh, pretty good detail into the background. Art of Whispers, is that the name of the enemy? Or is that a move, or what's going on? Can we click on them? Um... Uh, skills, shard attack, boss resist, cool. Vault slash, ooh. That's kind of interesting, I tried to hover over it to see um, what the ability did and it just did its own thing. Well now. Wounded, he roared in defiance. Channeling the last of his magic into the artifact he'd protected for so long. And the great key, the one thing that could open the gate, just came apart. In front of him, the monster frothed in rage, sensing its prize slip away. The fragments fell across the world like stardust, where silently and unseen, they lay hidden, waiting to be found. The voice acting's really good. Emerald City Games. Um, I haven't really heard of them. I don't know if they've done anything else. Uh, but so far, I'm pretty impressed. Timothy. Face it, Tim. They've all run away. We're the last of the Vault Keepers. So that means we're the boss, right? Then let's decide what to call this place. Name your city. We will name our city... Mangoville? Is that a thing? Guess that'll do. Bad news, his ba bandit's posted a note on our door. Turn to the city and we'll keep your lives RC. Cleaver and his bandits won't stop until they're on... They own this town. They must realize that we're the only ones left. Well, he's insane if he thinks we're handing the city over to him. By the way, do you like my voice acting? Vault of Souls can't fall into the wrong hands. We can't just sit here and let the bandits threaten our town. You're right, sis. We need to fight. Follow me. 
Collect all pets by hunting in each area. Well, here we are outside the walls. I'm really, really impressed with the graphics. The, the scenery in the background is just amazing. Key to successful battle is the element of Sir. Oh, yeah. Boy, what are you doing in Red Branch territory? She's super cute with her cat ears. Uh, never mind. Green arrows shows you're strong against the enemy's property. Like those green arrows up there? Oh yeah, up there. So, dude with big sword, strong against um, beast. And mage, not so good against assassin. Who's next? Is that a ladybug? Like, what even is that? Bomb Bumbler Beetle. Um, let's go over here. Oh, did it show how much damage it was going to do too? Yeah, it does. That's kind of cool. You'll do less damage to this. Uh, so she's not good against bees either. What is she good against? Oh, I guess I have more than one mana charge. Give an ally double damage. Let's do that. How does it work? Do I just click on them? She gets her butt kicked. Whirlwind damage all enemies. With that one. Ooh. The slow motion kill. Nice. Let me turn the sound up a little, hopefully. We got a big chest at the end. Victory! Friendship total. That's kind of cool. I wonder if they like are buddies with each other. Uh, we got a key, which I assume is a... Uh... Oh, summons a hero. Coin. So that's just your basic um, summoning uh, summoning scroll or something. Wait, look at this. It's a piece of Grandfather's Keystone. The summoning key. These are rare, but a stroke of luck for us. I wonder if this is uh, predetermined. So there's time key, summon a random hero every eight hours. That's really cool. It's always really, really fun when um, I hit the question mark. No? Um, it's always really fun when you get free summons. Summons a ra rare to epic hero, summons a very rare to legendary, and summons an epic to legendary. Nice. Star key, charge up an epic summon. I really want this one. I don't know if you can... Oh, you can't see me tapping. Um, that's one thing I really think more developers should do. There's so many people streaming, so many people um, making videos. They should really uh, add something that reacts to your finger on the screen. Like, I should be able to point at the... Um, if you know me, you know I'm pointing at the middle uh, unicorn right now. But um, they should be able to show uh, show where my, my finger is. Ba -ba -da -ba. I wasn't very excited. Where's the animations? Uh, sap Sumbler, small wooden sprites that shoot healing and sticky sap to lock enemy skills often seen near their friends, the ogres. I feel like that guy is the default. Um, it seems fitting they give you a healer right at the start. Uh, judging by their, their reaction, it was definitely a default. Sky in a once golden farmland now beset by the red branch bandits. Need a moment to check the library's world maps. Um, can I not click there? Uh, nope, I'm stuck doing this one, so we will do this. I guess we're still in the tutorial. Uh, we can add little buddy over here. Oh, he's super cute. And it looks like we get another buddy at level 6. Collect all pets by hunting in each area. Didn't we kill her? Oh, she's got a band-aid. I don't know if she had that before. Turn it now and we'll show mercy. Oh, somebody kill them. Maybe you should stop sending wolves that I'm really, like, strong against. <laughs> Look at the guy. He's rolling on the crowd. He's super cute. You said it, sis. So now this guy should be able to heal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely part of the tutorial.
<laughs> Look at him doing little snowmans. That is amazing. Damn it, they're making us look ridiculous. Someone wake up Little Hans, he'll sort them out. Hmm, with a name like Little Hans, how bad could he be? <laughs> My guess is pretty bad. Uh, so let's go over here. Um, oh, no. Ah. So it seems I'm misclicking a lot, or mistouching, whatever you want to call it now. Sappy ball, damage an enemy. He just makes little snow angels all day long, that's like his job. Dance around and make snow angels. And now let's see little Hans. Someone called for the Ursus? I am to be smashing someone, yeah? Wow, that is a very big bear. Earth splitter. Oh, he's charging. Charging can't be good, right? Preparing a skill for the next turn. Huh. Uh, let us double power this guy over here. And sappy ball. Ooh, that was pretty painful, but this should do like 8 damage now. 9. Friendship combo. Merp, nice. I love the little slow mo, um, the little little things added. Oh, rare rabbalize? Bravo, bravo, well done. Gods, it's a potkin. It is? I always thought it'd be more magical looking. Oh, shush, Tim. You wouldn't recognize one of these ancients if they bit you. Greetings, little lord. Little lord? Hardly. The name's Rabalus Roadwander, just a humble traveler and historian. And I've come to warn you, I've been noticing some very odd stuff happening. Trouble is near. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Listen, let's sort out your bandit problem first. After that, we can talk. Ooh, I like big chests. Can I get another key that's not um, set in stone? Nope, um, but we did get a potion. 30 XP to a hero. Um, level up by unlocking new battles. I'm wondering, um, I noticed there wasn't a very big download at the start. I'm wondering if the loading is me downloading um, uh, the, new, the new area. Stronger. Oh, I forgot to read. Um, so now we're going to give our hero some XP. You mean I have to drink that? Uh, tap to see potions, mini potion. In 30 XP, so he'll level now. I feel great. I could take on a Reaver Cleaver with one arm. Reaver Cleaver's camp should be ahead if we don't run into any surprises. I'm ready, sis. Let's take the fight to him. Don't get too excited. It may not be as easy as you think. Let's go into the world map here. Reaver Cleaver, a battle with Reaver Cleaver, the Bandit Chief. Uh, we also have 16 stamina. Um, can I get into that? No, everything's grayed out, so I guess we're just going to do the tutorial for a bit. Kill command! They have a beast, so that's 5 damage, right? Um, it's whirlwind. Did I crit that? Oh no, I was strong, so it did an extra 100% uh, damage, or 50% damage. So it's still four turns, and it's four turn cooldown, so... Should be at three now, I'm wondering if going to the next stage reduces it one like a lot of other games. Uh, still three, so it doesn't reduce. Um, let's kill this guy. Stop doing snow angels, it's time to battle. Their boss has got to be around here somewhere, my guess is right here. Uh, far be... Far be it for me to tell you how to fight, but isn't sneaking up on him a better idea? 
There will be no sneaking nice. <laughs> and by the way, the little um, mini frame rapes there are not the game, it is uh, my connection between the iPad and the computer. Reaver Cleaver. This guy's pretty big. We better get a key from this guy. Only reaving and cleaving, no sneaking. Care how big he is if he threatens our city. Bring him down. 35 HP. Black hand. Is he gonna charge this or is he gonna. Yeah, that's a charge. Oh, no. Okay, that was painful. We got some healing to do. Let's buff up. Little guy, heal yourself. There's no way he does Reaver Cleaver again, so. Oh yeah, that was fine. So we get the double damage. I need one of those friendship attacks again, however that happens. Ow! Nice. Why did that hit- oh! Does double damage last more than one turn? Come on, let me check the skill. I really don't like when games don't let you like check skills. Like, I'm trying to check this skill in the bottom left, the um, one on cooldown. You can see it going in and out. Um, but apparently it lasts for two turns. I thought it only lasts for one. My blades, how have you beaten my blades? That's odd, there's some kind of crystal on his weapon, I wonder what... Get away from that! That's mirror corruption, it's vile stuff. I've seen it spreading across the continent like wildfire. I was hoping to alert the Vault Keepers of this, but sadly it looks like we were too late. Not too late. There might be two of us, but, but if our world is in danger, we want to help. Good old Timothy. I would love a key, I want some more fun units. No key still, but we got two XP potions. Back to the village. Collect all pets by hunting. Yeah, we've, we've seen that. You need some more tip screens. Back in the throne room, the little creature drew on his pipe. The bandits were only the start of their troubles. Is that it? The shard of whispers was stirring again. Back. Hunting down the keys and anyone else that gets in its way. Luckily, the Potkin knew someone that might be able to help. To the north, among the Roses of Careholm, was the first elven oracle to be born in over a hundred years. If anyone could tell them where this threat was coming from, it would be her. Now, I'm not entirely sold on the gameplay itself yet, but I do love the um, the story and everything around it. Um, it's really well done. The uh, animations are great. The art is great. The background is great. Even the moving, um, I can't tell if that's water or fog, but I think it's water in the background. It's just fantastically done. Like, there's leaves falling. There's just everything has just been um, really well done uh, graphics-wise. A goal we could use to help. Uh, the further you go, the more you'll need them for guidance. Okay, let's be real here. I just want to play some gacha. I want to summon some stuff. Uh, new goals will pop up every day. Should help to hire some new help. You buy keys? Uh, tap the silver key. Let's buy it. This key seems a little more... Powerful, rare to epic. So we want a rare one, obviously, uh, although it might just be um, set in stone since we're still tutorial. I should be able to get a time key too soon. Centaur Lancer. A centaur now we've got some real muscle for our journey. Lancer charges straight into battle, stunning enemies with their speed, strength, and a very sharp spear. He's rather um, intimidating. I hope we can find that oracle quickly. Uh, take time to check our new goals and use your potions. You'll need all the help you can get. When you're ready, I'll see you on the road. 
so now we are out of the oh no we are not out of the tutorial we'll, we're still tutorialing uh, care home the elven homeland a beautiful rose fading slowly into twilight first steps into a rune land beset by dark forces um did i can i change that oh it's just the same thing the saltness of time uh, we better check what enemies are in the next battle uh, so we can check up top. There is Mir, Gaia. Oops. No! Damn it. <laughs> I want to check Mir, Gaia, Elemental, Wild with a Y, and Dark. Um, so. I guess we want to bring this guy in, right? Because he is. Ooh, he's super intimidating. We'll replace those two, which is cool. Um, no. Uh, yeah, let's do this. As much as I like the little guy, I think uh, Mr. Centaur is probably pretty good. What the heck is this? I think the Magi of the Collegium refer to it as a slaver vine. Ugh, I've read about that. The, they tangle their victims, slowly turning them into cadaveran slaves. Help. And damage, I might need my healer. Oh, we can change speed up top times four. Wow. Um, options here. Uh, sound effects on, music on, speed fast, autoplay. Can we turn? We can turn autoplay on. We're good. So we're now in super speedy autoplay mode. So this is the mode you'll be playing in like 99% of the time, I'm assuming. I've never been to care home before, but these plants can't be normal. Hardly. Something's twisting the vegetation here, which makes me worry for this seer we're trying to find. We'd better hurry then. Well, the auto seems to be doing pretty well, better than I was. I watch out before it charges its bloom. I'm out. I'm on it for the vault keepers. Not bad for just two legs. Nice. He, my centaur does some pretty good damage, and he stuns too. Um, I think I should change my order so my, my dude's in the front, right? Or does that matter? Rose elves typically aren't known for their magic. However, the oracle is an exception. It's said she can see the future, and she lives in this castle. Oops, skipped. Many, many levels. Stun charges, charging enemies to stop their attack. Huh. So I wonder if the centaur is the default one since I got a stun tip right after I got them. Uh, War caller battle. I am not going to spend any money because I am free to play on this character or this account in Mangoville. Can I change my name at all or are we stuck in Mangoville? No, we're stuck. We've got mail, a mysterious letter. Someone mysterious has left these rewards. Nice, we got a key. Keys are good. What do we have for options? Uh, it's through Game Center, sounds on. Uh, let's go to the shop. Vault Sage and Talia. I already have her. Um, Demonologist Battle, forty-seven ninety-nine. Yeah, that's a, that's about uh, gotcha game prices. Maybe like half what it should be. Bronze keys are 800, uh, but we don't want that. So how much is a big one? 399 for a stack of 300, so it's like... Hmm. What packs do they have? I'm really happy they have like fun packs instead of just um, base stuff like Fire Emblem Heroes has. Two times value, 50% extra. So there are a couple with limit one, which is really cool. A pet box. Oh my god, I want pets. Baby dragon whelp? Oh, these are too cute. Uh, so let's go summon our little thing, and then we'll stop this little... Uh, let's spend my stamina after, and then we'll stop this episode here. I just wanted to go through the tutorial, give it a shot, and I'm really impressed so far. I really do enjoy it. Um, but it's all all what it's like later in the game. I can't really tell from from here. You can get keys for free every so often. Make sure to check back. 
You never have too many friends, I agree. Now let's do the time key first. Sand crab. A small, angry, yet well shielded beast that threatens, strengthens its defense, then slams into enemies. Nice. So we would like a very rare hero, please. Blob. A small blob that's caught fire and now wanders about burning attackers. Wow, what a jerk. Is there any goal we can do here? Um, we can collect this. Return to Skyne and defeat three Red Branch Bandits. Um, so let's go do that, because that gives a key. The Malady um, Care Home. Did return to Skyne. Why did it bring me here if I hit go on that? Um, so chance, does that mean I have a chance to have her drop? I think it does, so let's go here, because that'd be cool if she dropped. We're going to stick with this team here. What was I supposed to defeat again? She got friendship comboed. That's some big damage. Times four. Collect hero tokens to boost hero rarity to their higher for higher max level, huh? But I don't have her yet? I'm confused. I am confused. Uh, so let's go back here. There's lots of loading in this game too, I'm noticing. Um, there was a goal. We finish it. Nice, we finished it. So let's do a summon. Maybe we'll get a very rare we can replace the centaur. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's summon. Very rare. And in eight hours we get another summon. Um, I love when games do that. Greed Goblin. It's a treasure goblin. Stealthy little thieves that latch onto enemy skills to steal them away before vanishing into the shadows. Cool. Um, can we go to heroes? 122 heroes unlocked. Is there a way to sort them by ballerness? Is that a term? Oh, there's a little... Oh, come on. You're not going to let me click into it? Jerk. Can we click into these? Yes, we can. Here are your hero stats, like attack, you can tap to get more details on each stat. Skills. The more we fight together, the closer our friendship. I really like this. Um, any sort of um, friendship or bonding or anything is super fun. And it looks like we get pets too, apparently. So let's do um, two more battles here, and we can um, goals. Defeat the Hound Mistress in the last battle of Care Home. Right, let's do two more battles here, run out of our thingy, and uh, that'll be it for episode one of uh, Lionheart Dark Moon. I'd love to hit level six to get a fourth person too on my team. Is that an elf? It used to be. I was worried about this. Watch out, her arrows look poisonous. But the auto seems to be doing really well. I love my little centaur too. I wonder what happens if somebody dies. Do they still get XP? I think we might find out soon. Nope. Oh, he looks dangerous. Is that a hunting horn? Well, that's not good. Or we should get going quickly now. What? Common pet that grants bonus attack. Ooh, I like pets. Are we going into pet tutorial? 
Oh, no, look what I found. Isn't he cute? Not by the dictionary definition of cute. Ah, you found a spirit. They're often kept as pets. Uh, open pet collection. Each area has their own species to discover. Care home has these adorable lizards. Put them. Each hero can have their own pet to protect them. Different pets will offer different bonuses. He's got spikes, so much, so he must be good at attack. I'll call him Spiky. Or quite observant of you. Uh, let's equip Spiky. Pets can be upgraded at the same level as their hero, but they do take quite a bit of work. Um, yes. We'll find stronger, rarer pets as we explore. Or you could just keep training Spiky. Um, I love pets. Any game with pets also makes me happy. Uh, one more, and then we are out of stamina. I'm not sure if we have, like, character levels outside of the individual characters. There's that sound again. It's just me, or is it getting closer? More vines? Oh, there's four of them. That's cheating. Love the friendship combos, too. It's another one of those poor elves. Careful, it's got a sword. So have you. It looks like one of the Rose Elf Knights. They were very protective of their allies at one time. It's gonna defend. Can we switch targets and auto? We can't. Auto just autos what they want to auto. That should be fine, though, right? Did he just take 16 damage? So now we will see if we get XP when one of our units dies. Please tell me yes, because it's one of my most frustrated things when uh, with games like this. Please gain XP, Mr. Centaur. Nice, he gains XP, we're okay. Uh, we got hero token and we got heart. Common pet that grants bonus defense, nice. I wonder if they're um, rare to find later. Perfect, so there we go. We are out of stamina today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Lionheart Dark Moon. This is going to be a Let's Play series, basically, uh, where I play through the game, kind of give my own opinion on it, and uh, maybe you guys can pick it up too and have fun with it, because so far I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much. See you guys next time.